This tutorial is aimed at clinicians and other healthcare professionals to show the different response options available when dealing with a patient request. If you are a member of the practice administration staff, you can take a look at the overview of a patient request and request actions tutorial. When we go into a patient request, you can still see an overview of the request received at the top. This will remain there whatever page you're looking at within the dashboard. Under that, we have some different tabs. We can see at the moment we're looking at the patient request tab and we can see the patient information here, the request information here, and this will also show you any breach, alert or assigned information. Under that, you'll see any notes that may have been added to the episode at the top, and then underneath you'll see the patient's request as they submitted it on the front end of Footfall. If we go into the Recent Transactions tab, we're able to see any other requests that the patient has submitted. Request History will give you an audit trail of the request. It shows anyone who has viewed the episode, when it was viewed, who it has been assigned to, and when the practice has sent a response to the patient. If we go back into the patient request, we can see various actions along the top of the form. Depending on how your practice operates, you as a clinician, nurse or any other healthcare professional are able to reply and deal with the request yourself or assign the request back to the administration team to deal with the request for you. If we choose to reply to the patient, we just click reply and we're given the space to type a message to the patient, perhaps offering them an appointment. You're also given some formatting options, the option to add a link, a quick response or a form. When you've typed your message, you can select what you want the patient to do. You're given the option to allow the patient to reply. In this case, we're offering an appointment, so we want to allow the patient to do this. When we click on this, we're given another option, require patient reply. This is where we're insisting a reply from the patient. We need a response from them and we can tell the system to track the request to tell us when the patient hasn't replied to our online message. This is probably applicable in this scenario and especially where patients are offered an appointment for the same day. By setting an alert, we're telling the system to alert us if the patient hasn't replied in a certain amount of time. If we're offering an appointment for the same day, we would want to set a short time scale here this allows us to follow up if needed. Then we have some options to choose what we want to do with the patient's request. We can select send and close, which will send our response to the patient, close the request down and remove it from our work list. The send and close option changes if we select require patient reply. It changes to send and wait. This means the response will be sent to the patient and, because we're waiting for a response from the patient, it will add the request into the wait work list until a response is received. This will keep the request active but in the wait work list until we have received information back from the patient. If we select send, this will send our message to the patient but keep the request as new and will still be visible in our work list. Cancel will just close the reply action and a response won't be sent. What's important to note here is if you choose to respond to your patient and they reply to your online message, the reply will automatically come back into your work list for you to action. Again, depending on how your practice likes to work, at this point you can always assign the response to the reception team to deal with or proceed to deal with the request yourself. Let's look at the assign function. This allows you to allocate the request to either a specific member of staff or a group of staff to action. You can simply select the group or person you want to deal with the request, add a note for the assignees so they're aware of what needs to happen, and you can also set an alert to tell you if the request hasn't been dealt with within the time selected. When you select assign, the request will move from your work list into the other member of staff's work list or into the group's new work list. Next we have video which will book a video appointment for the patient. Again, this might be something that you would prefer the administration team to deal with, in which case you can assign the request to them and ask them to book the appointment. 
but in cases where you might do this yourself, you would put the appointment in the clinical system in the first instance and then enter the appointment details into the fields here, with the date, time and member of staff doing the video appointment. As soon as you select book video consultation, the patient will receive an email confirming the appointment details along with a link to join the appointment at the appointment time. They'll also receive a reminder email five minutes before the appointment time with the same information. You can see here by booking the appointment, the system records it in the patient's episode of care. The clinician who has been booked to do the appointment will also receive a reminder notification five minutes before the appointment time. If we look at close, we're given some prompts before we close down the request. You're prompted to copy the episode into the clinical system and select an outcome of the episode. When closing a request, we're assuming nothing else needs to be done with it so it can be closed down. If at any time this is done by accident, you can bring the request back. You just go into the recently closed list, find the request and open it, then select new. The next set of options allows you to change the status of the request. Park will move the request into the parked work list and this is used when you're waiting for something internal to happen in the practice. You could be waiting for test information for example or for someone to come back from a lunch break to ask a question before responding to a patient. Again you have the option to add a parked note and set an alert so the system can alert you if the request hasn't been dealt with in a certain amount of time. Urgent is a useful feature that can be used to flag a request as urgent to other members of the practice. Marking something as urgent will prioritise the request and make it appear at the top of a work list. This is useful where you might assign a request to a receptionist to deal with and you want it to be actioned as a priority. Wait works in a similar way to part but this is for external reasons where we are waiting for information from the patient. For example, like in our reply earlier, where you select require patient response, the request is added to the wait work list because we're waiting for information from the patient. Note allows you to add a note to the request which will appear at the top of the patient's episode of care. Then we have our exporting options, copy, PDF and print. Copy will copy the whole episode of care so you can paste it into the clinical system. PDF will download a PDF copy of the episode and selecting print will allow you to print the episode. 